Okay, the day is finally here. Cool mini or not, the other's Seven Sins pledge has finally arrived. And it is a big, big box. Very happy. Uh, yeah, just arrived about five minutes ago. Uh, I've taken off the address there, of course. Uh, nine kilos, almost, of the other's goodies. Now, let's see if I can film this and uh, open this at the same time. This is going to be interesting. Okay. Bear with me here. Always the most fun part of unboxing, seeing somebody struggle to uh, film it at the same time. <laughs> Okay, almost there, one side to go. Come on. Ah, there we go. Okay. So, let's see what we've got. Excess packaging, same with you, same with you. Okay, first cab off the rank, the plastic token pack. They look just sensational. This is the um, the first time I've upgraded uh, the tokens uh, for a board game and I, I must say I'm pretty happy about this. I think they look really great. We'll pop those out properly in the uh, remainder of the unboxing. Uh, now the art of the others. Now this is really nice. I grabbed uh, Blood Rage previously from Come On, uh, from uh, Call Mini or Not. And the, uh, the art book for that was really good, but I think they've outdone themselves with this one. It's um, very nice hardcover here. Let's just have a little look at the page count. 120 pages. Nice hardcover art book. Oh, yes. Lots of content here as well. Lots of um, story content and biographies and some... Gorgeous, gorgeous artwork, of course. And once again, we'll have a proper look at that once we do this section. Now, what else do we have? Well, we have upgraded uh, components, the wounds pack. Some lovely little, I don't know if you can make those out, little plastic hearts for your health. And, uh, Corruption pack, 60 tiny little tentacly tokens. <laughs> now I must admit, I, I did grab these, both of these, for use with other games. Uh, I'm a big, uh, a big fan of Elder Sign, and uh, in particular the tentacles, the corruption uh, tokens will come in very, very handy for that. Put those out properly a little later. Okay. Up down here, what do we have? What do we have? The Sons of Ragnarok. Seven heroes. <clears throat> seven heroes. And seven dashboards. Very nice. Great packaging as well. They do such a good job. Very, very nice. Quite weighty as well. So that's, uh, that's really, really cool. Okay, we have... Uh, section. Okay, the Apocalypse Expansion. Very nice. Lovely darts. And of course the uh, Kickstarter exclusives for the Apocalypse Expansion as well. Lovely. Now this is going to be tricky with one hand, so just bear with me, I'll, I'll be back. Okay, we are back. Now, what do we have in this little box? Within the box we have the, uh, the Sins. Lust, Envy, Gluttony, Greed, Wrath, Beta Team, and Omega Team. Let's have a look inside here. Oh, wow. <laughs> very, very happy with this. Okay, we have Omega Team, or Omega Team, 
depending on who you talk to. Eight figures, new tiles, a bevy of goodies in there. Very nice. We have Beta Team or Beta Team. 17 figures, five city tiles, and a whole bunch more. Lovely. Okay, on to the sins. The first sin on top is Lust. Closely followed by Envy, appropriately. Okay, remaining sins. We have Gluttony. Feels lighter than the others for some reason. That's interesting. But of course, the great thing with these is it wasn't really clear during the Kickstarter, but um, you get three sin dice in each of these packs as well. So that's an awful lot of dice. Okay, and a lucky last Wrath or Wrath. Fantastic. Okay, and that just leaves buried at the bottom of this rather large box. Oh, oh the main contender. <laughs> the others. Be prepared or be consumed. <laughs> now this is a weighty, weighty core box. Look at that thickness of that. That is fantastic. Wonderful. Okay, so look, I might uh, leave it there, but I'll do individual unboxings on all of these and do them proper justice, but I thought uh, I thought other pledges would like to see what they can expect, hopefully, in the not-too-distant future. Uh, fantastic stuff from uh, from Cool Mini or Not. I love their campaigns. I know they they have their faults with communication, and, uh, and uh, they're not the speediest at getting things out. But once they do, when they arrive, it's all worth the wait. Very, very happy backer right now. Okay, all the best. I'll be back soon with some more proper individual unboxings.